Hi there. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about a technique that I've been working on for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I first heard this beautiful technique employed by Julian Lodge, and once I kind of figured out how it worked and what it was doing, uh, I got really excited by the, the wonderful melodic capabilities of it. And uh, this technique is known as spread triads, and spread triads are used by some of your, our favorite guitarists, like, you know, Julian Lodge, uh, Eric Johnson has a lot. <laughs> kind of nice lilting sound to it and really what it does is it takes something as simple as a major or a minor triad and it gives us some wider more thought-provoking intervals in it which is a really really beautiful sound but uh yeah without further ado let me walk you through all of the G major spread triads so first off we should probably talk about what a spread triad is and it's a fairly simple concept where if we take a G major triad like say this one this is what we would call a closed position triad so all of these notes G, B, and D they all happen within one octave of each other so if I wanted to make this a spread triad I need to make the range of notes bigger than an octave. So the easiest way to achieve that is to take my middle note, in this case B, and bump it up an octave. So now I get this. Big, wide, open sound. And these are really, really gorgeous, big, spread out intervals that sound great. And we can do this for each permutation or inversion, if you will, of the major triad. So this is my root position one. My third and bass triad would normally be like this, where I get G, or sorry, B, D, G, but then I'd kick my G, or my D up the octave, and then I would get this. And then if I did the fifth and bass, that would normally be D, G, B, but now I want to kick my G up the octave, and I get this beautiful sound. So now let's look at applying those to our positions of the major triad. Um, each of these positions is going to have four permutations of the spread triad that we can play. So right about now, I'm going to have a diagram appearing up here in the right corner of the screen. And that is a bit of a confusing diagram on first glance, but let me break down the kind of color coding here. Where in each position, the first spread triad we play will be written in black. The second will be written in blue. The third is in red, and then lastly, our fourth permutation is in green. So, that first position will look like this. I'm going to play it once for you, one triad at a time, and then I'll play it once for you all together, so you can hear the kind of end result of this really lush, beautiful exercise. So we get... Then... 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 Then I'll walk it back down. Then when we put all of that together, we get a beautiful sound like this. Beautiful. Okay, now let's take a peek at position two. So position two is going to start with our pointer finger on our fifth fret here. And this one has a bit of an uncomfortable reach in that second triad. So if you, your hand starts to hurt, you know, stretch out, drink some water, come back to it. But it's going to look like this. Our first triad is... Then... Then... We go down... And if we put all of that together, we get something that sounds like this. beautiful beautiful sound then we come up to position three so now we're starting with our pinky on our tenth fret of our A string and we're gonna get something kind of like this here's our first triad then back down back up to our root there so now we're going to get this. Ah, bum, bum. 
And if this video is moving a little bit too quick for you, you can always slow down the playback speed to 75 or 50 percent, or of course you can watch these over again. So there was our position three. Now our position four, we're going to start from that same G, but now we've got our middle finger on it, and we're going to go like this. This one also has a bit of a reach to it, but I find it to be a little bit more comfortable. You do have to bit of a do a bit of a whole hand movement, but I'll do it nice and slow before I play it in, in time for you guys. So this first one, second, now here's where we have to do the slide, back down, then the last one. So this all together would sound something like this. that guy one more time for you because I missed a note in one of them. So there's our position four. Now finally position five is going to see us way up here at our 15th fret and that's going to look like this. We go last one has a big reach. And now finally, here's that fifth position in time. Had some sloppy picking there, I'll do it one more time for you. And there you have it. There's the idea of spread triads. And G major all the way up the neck. It's a really, really tricky exercise, so please be kind to yourself while you're practicing this, getting all of those string jumps in your right hand, and it's really easy to get kind of tumbled up with your left as well. So please be kind to yourself while you practice this, but I just think it's a really, really beautiful sound with lots of lush, wide intervals that, again, I hear guys like Eric Johnson and Julian Lodge, Pat Metheny use all the time, where it really takes something as simple as simple sorry as a major triad and it makes it this big beautiful sound world to dive into so i encourage you to get it down really comfortable in the key of g and then experiment with moving it around into other keys but that's pretty much it for me today i really hope you enjoyed the lesson if you did i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe I'm trying to grow my channel here and i'd love to have you along for the ride if you'd like, you can book a guitar lesson with me through my website. The link to that in the description below. I'd love to work with you on whatever's troubling you with the guitar. And I guess until next time, I wish you all a wonderful day, and I hope you get to have some fun playing the guitar. Thank you so much.